Millicent Garrett Fawcett (1847–1929) used to be a main suffragist and campaigner for equal rights for women. She led the largest suffrage organization, the nonviolent NUWSS, from 1890 to 1919, and performed a key position in gaining girls the vote. Reflecting her ardor for education, she helped to locate Newnham College, Cambridge. She additionally engaged in different political things to do such as aiding employee rights and overcoming legal guidelines which have been primarily based on a twin morality for guys and women. Short biography Millicent Fawcett Millicent Fawcett Millicent Garrett was once born in Aldberg, Suffolk in 1846 to a affluent middle-class family. When she was once 12, Millicent was once dispatched to London with her sister Elizabeth Garrett Anderson, the first girl health practitioner in the UK, to learn about at a personal boarding college in Blackheath. Being trained in London gave Millicent a eager hobby in literature and education, which lasted all through her life. A pivotal second passed off when she used to be 19 and went to hear a speech through the radical MP, John Stuart Mill. Mill used to be an early suggest of common women's suffrage. His speech on equal rights for female made a large influence on Millicent, and she grew to become actively worried in his campaign. She was once impressed through Mill's sensible aid for women's rights on the foundation of utilitarianism, as an alternative than summary principles. Millicent was once additionally moved to aid the women's suffrage motion when her sister Elizabeth struggled to be employed as a doctor. Millicent later wrote, I can't say I grew to become a suffragist, she later wrote. I usually used to be one, from the time I used to be historic adequate to suppose it all about. The concepts of representative government, NUWSS typescript, N. D. Manchester Central Library. M50, the 10th of February 20. Through turning into a loyal supporter of J.S. Mill, Millicent grew to become acquainted with different outstanding activists of a comparable mind. One of these used to be the radical MP for Brighton, Henry Fawcett. He had been blinded and informally taking pictures. Accident, however the pair felt a shut mental affinity and married in 1867, in spite of the reality. He used to be 14 years her senior. Millicent labored as Henry's secretary however. Additionally pursued her very own writing career. She wrote a quick e-book, Political Economy for Beginners. It obtained reward for its succinct and direct explanation. It ran for 10 variants and 41 years. Her ability to simplify complicated arguments proved beneficial in her profession as a suffragist. She additionally had a clear voice and made an excellent speaker. She grew to become properly regarded as a speaker and lecturer on political and tutorial topics as nicely as women's issues in the 1870s when ladies not often ventured onto public platforms. Critics had been disarmed by way of her look and manner, demure, slight, graceful, reasonable, a youthful however composed determined with a mass of amber hair and a clear, silvery and expressive, talking voice, Rubenstein, 38-9, Oxford. DNB, Millicent Fawcett Millicent additionally performed a function in the founding of Newnham College, Cambridge. The Fawcett's Cambridge drawing room was once a key assembly area for the supporters of women's schooling in Cambridge, and Millicent herself gave assist and sensible recommendation in the early planning and increase of Newnham. Newnham College, the university was once based in 1870. Her daughter, Philippa would later attend the college. In 1884, Henry Fawcett was once taken ill whilst serving in William Gladstone's liberal authorities as postmaster general. He died of pleurisy on 6 November 1884. It was once a large shock for Millicent, who was once widowed aged solely 38.
After her husband's death, she dedicated extra of her time to political campaigning and grew to become concerned in the Personal Rights Association. This was once a crew committed to defending susceptible women. In 1890, she used to be elected president of the National Union of Women's Suffrage Societies, NUWSS, which used to be the biggest team campaigning for girls to acquire the vote. This business enterprise campaigned commonly on equal rights for women, however underneath Fawcett additionally supported different reasons such as the abolition of the slave trade, and forming an alleviation fund for South African female and kids all through the Boer War. In 1901, there was once developing outrage and opposition to the use of scorched earth techniques towards the Boer civilian population. As section of an investigation, Fawcett used to be requested to go to South Africa and record on stipulations in the attention camps. Her document validated early warnings that many have been loss of life needlessly in the camps, even though the professional authorities model attributed the deaths to different factors. A huge disappointment for the women's suffrage motion used to be when the liberal authorities refused to countenance giving female the vote in their length in workplace 1901 to 1914. This influenced the greater militant suffragettes to have interaction in direct motion, breaking home windows and, when dispatched to jail, taking phase in starvation strikes. This willingness to lodge to violence triggered a deep divide in the women's movement. Fawcett and the NUWSS remained dedicated to reaching the vote through constitutional skill and argued that militancy used to be counterproductive. Although Fawcett admired the braveness of the extra militant WPSU members, she blamed the WPSU's direct motion for stopping the authorities balloting on the issue. In 1912, fed up with the Liberals' opposition to giving female the vote, the NUWSS supported the nascent Labour Party. On the outbreak of warfare in August 1914, Fawcett confronted a divided movement. The militant WSPU enthusiastically supported the war, and Emily Pankhurst helped to inspire younger guys to join. However, many in the NUWSS have been pacifists or supportive of global treaties to carry about peace negotiations. However, Fawcett supported the war. Writing in August 1914, Women, Yurusova wants you. As lengthy as there used to be any hope for peace, most individuals of the National Union probable sought for peace, and endeavored to guide these who had been attempting to hold it. But we have some other obligation now. Let us exhibit ourselves, precious of citizenship, whether or not our declare to it be diagnosed or not, Millicent. Fawcett of the NUWSS writing in the Common Cause August 1914. Her assist led to many contributors of the NUWSS leaving the motion with a huge diploma of acrimony. However, the First World War modified the social and political landscape, with female actively working in enterprise to help the fighting effort. There was once a groundswell of opinion to provide girls the vote. In 1918, the Qualification of Women Act used to be handed giving girls over the age of 30 the vote. The NUWSS used to be disbanded and quickly after Millicent retired from lively engagement in politics. She later wrote a e-book about the struggles for the vote The Women's Victory, 1920. She was once additionally nonetheless energetic in a much less distinguished way on troubles such as training for Indian women, permitting girls to get tears from Cambridge and developing larger equality of probability for women. When Parliament equalized the vote casting age in 1928, she used to be there in Parliament to witness the fruits of her life's work grow to be a reality. She wrote, it is nearly precisely 61 years in the past given that I heard John Stuart Mill 
introduce his suffrage modification to the Reform Bill on May 20, 1867. So I have had exceptional, excellent success in having considered the fighting from the beginning. Millicent Fawcett died. The subsequent year, on 5 August 1929, quotes Millicent Fawcett to ladies as moms as given. The cost of the domestic and the care of children. Women are therefore, by means of nature as properly as by means of education and occupation, greater accustomed than guys to pay attention. Their minds on the domestic and the home aspect of things. But this distinction between guys and women, rather of being a cause towards their disenfranchisement, looks to me to be the strongest feasible motive in favor of it. We favor to see the domestic and the home aspect of matters to be counted for extra in politics and in the administration of public affairs than they do at present. Millicent Fawcett Home and Politics, N.D. The complete textual content can be observed in Lewis, J. Ed., 1987, before the vote used to be won, arguments for and against. Women's Suffrage, London, Routledge and Keegan Paul, pp. 418-424. The NUWSS and the WSPU between 1905 and 1911 adopted one-of-a-kind election policies. The WSPU cry in each and every election was once keep the liberal out, not, as they asserted, from birthday celebration motives. However, due to the fact the government of the day, and the government alone, had the electricity to omit a suffrage bill, and as lengthy as any authorities declined to take up suffrage they would have to come upon all the opposition which the militants ought to command. The NUWSS adopted a one-of-a-kind election coverage, that of acquiring declarations of opinion from all candidates at every election and aiding the man, unbiased of party, who gave the most high-quality assurances of support, 